how to make rainbow gelatin cups that you can eat or drink out of and that you don't need a fancy store-bought mold for. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Now to make your own molds, you're going to need two different size cups. One larger, one smaller, and the smaller one should be flexible like styrofoam or a softer plastic. The cups I chose was a 10 ounce clear plastic cup and for the inside cup I used a six and a half ounce styrofoam cup. Now the styrofoam cup has to fit inside of the clear plastic cup and that's why I'm cutting down the top of the styrofoam cup with a pair of scissors. Now how much to cut off will depend on the size of your cups and I will show you how to figure that out right now. So we need to figure out how much liquid we need to add to this cup to make our gelatin cup. Now I figured out for this particular cup I needed 150 mils or 5 ounces and this is how I figured that out. You put some liquid in the cup, then you take your styrofoam cup and you're going to put it inside of the cup and I add a little bit of water to it as you can see just to give it a little bit of weight and when you press the cup down you'll see the liquid, the green liquid actually goes up and you want it to go up to almost to the rim. And to be able to see this, I'm adding a couple of butter knives here just to keep it stable. Now the most important thing here is to notice is that the styrofoam cup is flush with the top, but there's a little gap at the bottom where the styrofoam cup is not touching the bottom of the clear plastic cup. I'll show close up here. So you push the cup down, it's not quite touching the bottom, there's a gap, and it is flush with the top part of the cup where the butter knives are keeping it stable there. So you need to cut enough styrofoam cup off so that when you push it into the cup, it's floating there, flush with the top and a little gap at the bottom. And you need the gap because that's the bottom of your gelatin cup. Okay, on to the actual gelatin mixture you need to make these. Now the heat's not on on this pot yet. There's no heat on. I put in one package of Jello. That's a three ounce package, 85 grams of Jello. I added to that four packets of gelatin that's 28 grams in total four of those little envelopes so you'll need about an ounce of unsweetened unflavored gelatin powder whisk those things together and then i added 150 milliliters or five ounces of cold water now you're going to turn the heat on to medium and you're going to begin to stir this over medium heat continue to stir until the gelatin has dissolved and it starts to get a little bit more liquid now you'll know you've reached the right point when you don't see any gelatin crystals in there and you're going to almost bring it to a boil. You'll see it start to steam and when it gets to that point just before a boil, take it off the heat, pour off the 150 mils you need for your cup and if you have any left over in your pan, you can just pour it into some silicone molds if you want and you can make some little gummy candies. Let it sit for a couple of minutes, you'll have a lot of foam that comes to the top. Just scoop that off and discard it. Now we're gonna pour that 150 mils of liquid into the cup. I put some cold water in the styrofoam cup. I set the styrofoam cup into the larger cup. And then we're gonna add a couple of butter knives just to level off the cup and to keep it floating. And you're gonna center it in the middle of that larger cup so that there's equal amounts of liquid all the way around and there's a little gap, the liquid underneath the styrofoam cup as well. Then put it in the refrigerator and let it set. And it doesn't take very long. It probably takes about a half an hour or so and it's done. Now it's time to remove the inside cup. It's important to use a flexible cup for the inside cup just so that it's easier to get out. If you use a really, really hard plastic cup, it might be harder to get it out. Styrofoam is perfect. You just kind of go around, release it from the styrofoam and then just pull it out. If you're lucky, you can get the cup to come out almost in one piece, at least the bottom part. Then go around and just gently pull the gelatin away from the outside cup all the way around. And then just gently release the suction from the bottom of the cup where the gelatin is and then pull it right out. Now you don't have to use disposable cups for this. The outside cup can be a regular drinking, a glass drinking cup. It doesn't have to be flexible, but the inside should be. And there it is. You can see they're really tough, very, very flexible and actually pretty durable considering it's made out of gelatin. Pretty awesome. Now you'll notice 
when you're done, you may have a little bit of bubbles or some froth on the top edge, makes it look a little bit messy. If you wanna clear that up, all you have to do is put a skillet on the stove on low heat, take your cup and just set it down in the skillet and just gently turn it. And as it heats up, it'll start to melt and just melt the edge of the cup until you get rid of the foam and you'll end up with a nice clean edge. And that will solidify or dry very, very quickly. Within a few seconds, it'll be dry enough to touch. There we go. I'm doing another one, this green one. I just wiped the skillet out with a little paper towel and then just did the next cup. And these cups are really stable at room temperature. All you have to do is keep them in a covered container and they will stay exactly the way they are. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make rainbow colors in one cup. It's fairly simple. All I did is took the plastic cup that I had, I put little lines on it to mark off six equal portions. Now the difference is for this one, for the first layer, you're just gonna put in the first layer up to the first line, which is purple if you wanna start with that part of the rainbow. Put this in the refrigerator, let it set. Doesn't take long, takes about 15 minutes or so. Throw your styrofoam cup in. It probably be a little bit lower than the outside rim of the cup, that's okay. Take some cold water, fill it up to about three quarters, add the butter knives on top to hold it in place, make sure it's nicely centered. And then take the next color liquid, in this case it's blue, and you're gonna pour that in just between the styrofoam cup and the plastic cup until you get to the next line. Put that in the refrigerator and let that set. And so on. Now after the first three layers are in, in this case purple, blue, and green, the styrofoam cups are stuck in there and they don't move around anymore, so you can take the butter knives off. And then just continue on adding each color, each layer, letting that set and then adding the next one all the way up to the top. Now just to show you here up close, um, I'm actually pouring that liquid between the styrofoam cup and the plastic cup. And if you get a little bit of the colored liquid inside the styrofoam cup, it doesn't matter. There it is, all set up, all the colors are in. I let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour just to make sure it was nicely set. And then I removed the styrofoam cup, just like I did with the solid color cups. And then there we are. I just love these rainbow cups. They're absolutely spectacular. And of course, I um, just cleaned the rim off with a skillet like I did with the other ones. I just love the way these turned out. The colors are so vibrant and except for the purple one, you can pretty much see right through it. They're kind of like a clear cup and they look just like a drinking glass. Now, speaking of drinking glasses, can you drink out of these things? Yes, you can, but what I would recommend is put the cup down, fill it up, throw a straw in there and let somebody drink out of it. If you try to pick it up and carry it around, the sides are gonna squish in and if there's lots of liquid in it, it's gonna overflow. So you can drink out of it as a novelty, just make sure you put the cup down before you do. I think a much better use for these would be as a dessert cup. So you could put things like pudding in there. You could put a cupcake inside with some frosting on top or even some fruit cocktail, whatever you'd like. And then once the person's done eating the dessert from inside, they can eat the cup. And it tastes like a very chewy fruit gummy. I love these solid color cups. They're certainly easier to make, but these multicolored rainbow cups are just amazing. These are my favorite. I have an entire rainbow playlist where I have all of my rainbow themed goodies on it. If you want to see it, go ahead and click on your screen or look for the link in the description box. There'll also be a little eye on your screen. You can click on that to get to the playlist.